Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with like another little vlog catch up sort of video. It's been a long while since I picked up the camera and actually vlogged something. And um, because my last video was like a sit down haul. So this feels really strange, but it is actually February. The year is just going so quick already. Like I'm glad we're in February to be fair because January is just, I just don't like the month. I just think it's really boring. The weather's always rubbish. Nothing even happens in January. It's just pretty crap in my opinion. So I'm glad we're in February. And then February's a really quick month. So that goes really quick. And then March is my birthday and then that goes quick. And then from then on, the year goes so quick and then we're in summer. So I'm gonna show you my new car today. It has been so long and I know you guys wanna see my new car. And I've not purposely like kept it a secret. Like it's not like some big like fancy car. It's just, I just haven't had, got around to showing you guys yet and i wanted to like show you guys in a video so i'm gonna show you guys today i'm gonna do a little mini car tour in this video i thought i won't do like a full video on it because it's just pointless i feel like not many people will watch it so yeah brandon's gonna have room for me i'm gonna quickly pop out and drive somewhere else and then show you guys like the outside the interior and stuff the car itself has been amazing like i'm obsessed with it um, I was so sad to see my Audi go and I couldn't even give it like one last drive because obviously I wasn't allowed to drive after my C-section and it came, when did the car come brand? Yeah, I think it came like early December, um, obviously Rome was born in November and the car was meant to be due in December, November, December um, so we ended up cancelling that one and we ended up getting one that was like in stock um and luckily like it came really quick so obviously he was in hospital for three weeks and then i think we were home for like two weeks before he came but obviously we weren't really going out that much anyway so i didn't really need it brandon was driving it at first which was so weird i was like i've got a new car but i can't even drive it i was a bit worried about it because i was like i'm not a very good driver as it is like i'm not very good at parking and things like that like driving was quite a big thing for me and i got so used to my audi so i was a little bit worried about getting this new car but so far so good like it's been like absolutely fine um parking is still no better but you know we move but yeah i'll probably sit down with you guys a little bit later and do like a big long life update a little catch up as well um show you guys rome he's actually napping at the minute and i'm gonna start nap putting him down for his naps properly like in his bedroom um or like in his next to me or something just so he sort of gets in his routine that like he used to sleep in his mother's there yeah but like meaning like nap time like lights off in a sleep sack like his naps need to be all the same as bedtime but any mums or dads on here like give me your opinion on like routines because he's 12 weeks now he's only seven weeks corrected so you know he should only be seven weeks old so you know like what to do about his nap times like i'm following all his wake windows and trying to put him down for his nap time so that he's not getting overtired at night time but yeah I'm just sort of letting him nap wherever at the minute. But currently, in his napping bed, he is spoilt <laughs> in his little blanket. Brandon's been sat here the whole time. Don't recommend you leave your baby like this alone. No, please don't do that. Um, Brandon's literally been sat here the whole time watching him. So he's just snuggled up in there. He's due to wake up probably for a feed soon. Anyway, I'm gonna pop out and show you guys um, the car really briefly but i really quickly want to show you guys my new trainers that i ordered because i literally have no white trainers i don't know why i've got my black and white panda dunks but that's actually it i wanted a white pair of trainers so i ordered these new balance because holly has them and morgan has them and they just look really nice and i really like them on to be fair i think they're the the 530s i think they are but i really like the are they 550s i don't know but i want to get them as well um but yeah, I ordered these. I think I ordered them from Shoe. So I'll leave the link down below in the description um, if you want to grab them. But yeah, I really like them. Last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is Rome's car seats. So obviously, like when we brought him home from hospital, he was too small to fit in his um, Cybex car seat because that was the one that we bought with our pram. Too small for it. When he came home, he was still like £3.7 or something like that. Um, so we bought the Pixel Pro. This... I would honestly recommend to anyone the best car seat ever it is so lightweight it's so super safe as well it's actually really highly recommended and it comes with this block and he literally fits in it perfectly like he's not chin to chest or anything like honestly I would 100% recommend this car seat it's been amazing 
but we obviously have our Cybex here, which obviously came with our pram, and obviously I want to use it, and um, we're going to keep this anyway. But the Cybex, obviously, um, it fits into an ISO fix that we bought with it. It's a 360, and it also fits on our pram. So I do want to transfer them into the Cybex. But it's literally just like a minefield. Like, I've got to move all the headrests down and all of that. Like, it's just... I literally, like, car seats are just an absolute minefield. And I can't work this out because if I take the block out of here... I don't know how we would fit in it. Like, how do I get the straps down? I don't know. So if anyone could let me know, because I might, like, keep this in my mum's car or something. Or give it to Brandon's dad or Brandon's mum. Like, I, I don't know. Just so we've got, like, a spare one. Yeah, any recommendations about that? Please let me know. So guys, before we get into the rest of today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about Skin and Me. You guys know I absolutely love using my daily doser, but I have a new product to show you that I have added to my skincare routine. Really quickly, before I introduce the new product to you, if you guys don't know what Skin and Me is, it's basically a subscription service for skincare. You fill out a little consultation form online, and they design your very own daily doser, which is only suited for you. They are packed with active ingredients. So obviously, this product can only be used at night, but introducing to you the new product, this is the Skin and Me Brighten and Boost Serum. There are three different types of serum. I have the Carmin Azaleic Acid Serum. I always start my skincare routine using the Skin and Me Cleanser. I've spoke about this so many times before. It is one of my favourite cleansers. This is just super hydrating and just make sure to get all of the dirt and oils off your skin. Once I've removed my cleanser, you just want to add three to four drops of the serum onto your skin. I love Skin and Me because it's just so easy to do in the mornings and in the evenings because it's only a few products that you need to use. And then to Seal the serum in. Just use the Skin and Me Soothe and Smooth Light Moisturiser just to seal everything in. I love this moisturiser because it's not sticky at all. It's just so light on the skin. And then, of course, the most important step of the day is to apply your SPF. It's really important to protect your skin from UV rays. This is the Skin and Me Oil Free 50 SPF Sunscreen. This dries down clear and it also doubles up as a primer, which is really good. I love it because this SPF isn't greasy at all and you can just apply your makeup straight on top of it and it's it sits perfectly on your skin and that is literally it i am ready for the day and then obviously this evening i will apply my daily doser just before i go to bed it's so super quick and easy and i honestly rate all the products so highly i've used skin and meat for literally over a year now and it has never failed me i love it so much if you guys want to shop it i will leave a discount code on screen for you guys here and i'll also leave the link down below in the description so you guys can go and shop it yeah let's get on with the rest of the video okay i have literally just pulled up in some random destination i don't even know how i got here <laughs> to be honest i was just taking random turnings i was just trying to find a place to stop because the place that we me and brandon normally go to when we want to film out of our area was blocked off for some reason um so i'm going to quickly get out the car i'm going to show you the outside of the car i think it is a volkswagen tiguan r line i'm pretty sure i'll ask brandon 100 when i get home but yeah it's a volkswagen tiguan r line i don't think it's the r because i think the r is slightly faster um i am gonna have to stand in the road briefly to show you that's fine we can make do um so yeah i'm gonna quickly show you the outside we go. so this is what the car looks like it's like a fairly decent size like it's not huge um but it's just like a nice size and it's got like the black wheels black alloys it's got like all of the i don't know basically brandon just found this car for me and then just said like yeah this is the one we're gonna get because it's perfect it's got the electric boot which is really handy obviously it's just got the pram in it currently which just you know takes up the whole boot but you know mum life um so yeah the electric boot's really handy because obviously my audi didn't have that um, so i'm going to show you the inside quickly this is the inside i'm not like a car kind of gal so that's a bear with but this is the inside it's just got like the r on the seats and then this is the steering wheel flat bottom steering wheel which i do really like to be fair my audi has. and then i'll quickly show you the back and then i'll run through the front so in the back it is so big in the back it's got the little thing in the middle i feel like that's pretty standard to be fair um but yeah there's so much room in the back here you've got the pockets here and the pockets at the top as well You've got the heating in the back. I feel like everything like this is just pretty standard. Um, but you've got the um, coloured lights as well, which is really nice that I like. But yeah, that is the back. And then I'll run through the front. Obviously, it is automatic, just like my Audi was. I think it just looks 
really classy i mean that is bugging me um but this is the steering wheel like it's a flat bottom steering wheel you've got all your controls here heated steering wheel is my absolute favorite thing in the world let me just start the engine actually um heated steering wheel which is a lifesaver for me if you guys know me i'm always always cold you've got all your buttons on here cruise control all of that jazz obviously it's automatic and then this is the bit in the middle you got all the navigation and all of that sort of jazz um bluetooth carplay i don't know why but like i'm such a cold person and a heated seat in the morning is my favorite thing ever i love these like these are all really sleek they're like touch buttons um so i really really like those and then obviously you've got like here like all your start and stop like um your park assist auto hold um all of that kind of jazz got two cup holders there and you can close that i didn't even know you could do that actually and then obviously you've got one of these things in there and then i don't even know why brandon's got match tacks in there to be honest but i've just got a little hairbrush in there chewing gum mints essential obviously what i got in there got a lip balm in there uh, i've got a 10 pound note in there because you know emergency cash you never know when you might need it that is filthy i just had my car cleaned i always didn't clean it very well and then yeah obviously you've got in here so i've just got some wipes in there i actually bought those the other day um some napkins because we always need napkins i don't know why i just keep them like if we go to mcdonald's or something like that yeah i love that they're not full leather seats because i don't know like i just feel like when it's cold and stuff you don't want leather seats like you want nice soft seats um so it's like what is this velvet kind of thing um and there's leather at the sides but yeah i really really like the seats and i like the little r at the top i just feel like it's really nice and sleek and yeah like we're quite high up as well which is what i kind of like i feel like a proper mum in this car it's so easy to get roam in and out of the car um like with the car seat um, and it's gonna be even easier now like when we fit his cybex with the isofix because obviously at the minute he's um put in my seat belt which is obviously like just as safe um but it's just hassle like every time putting him in the car like doing the car seat like doing the seat belt around the thing it's just a pain in the butt so yeah that is my car i didn't want to like bore you with a massive long car tour um but that is the car i absolutely love it i'm super grateful that i've got such a nice car audi just needed an upgrade because the audi would have just been slightly too small just to put rome in and out of and it's just a lot easier for me so yeah i absolutely love it there's nothing worse than having a dirty car i literally hate having a dirty car but my car is always dirty so i just don't ever have time to go and clean it that's why brian cleaned it for me um but anyway i'm gonna head back home now um Roman's probably gonna wake up any minute now for a feed so i need to head back and feed him and get him dressed for the day because he's not dressed i like to dress him in outfits in the day and sleep suits at night so he can like differentiate between day and night um whereas brandon just always dresses him in sleep suits i wake up and i'm like brandon you've got to put him in an outfit today and picking an outfit for him is my absolute favorite thing to do in the world um i don't know why but i just bought so many like nice outfits and i'm just so happy that he gets to use them all now um, but anyway, I'm gonna head back now and update you all a little bit later. Romy's just woken up, so I'm just feeding him. He actually had a tongue tie division yesterday. So he's just getting used to his new tongue, like he keeps sticking it out and he's like, what the hell is this in my mouth? Hey, aren't you? He's drinking his bottles a lot quicker now because obviously like he can get the milk easier. So he's being sick a little bit more than usual because he's like guzzling his bottles. So I'm not even this. He's only had two ounces. Um, they said that he could like start to feed less um, before he obviously starts to get better. Just because he's just getting used to a new tongue. Like he's like, what the hell is this? Like, what are you doing? Oh, buddy, you. Oh, buddy, you. Yes, you smiling. Are you happy, boy? Are you smiling? Are you doing smiles with mama? Guys, can you even cope? Um, he just burped then. Didn't even need to help him. He's so good at getting his wind up. Good boy. Yeah, he was such a good boy. Um, he cried a little bit, obviously. Um, but they say it's more because they're like fiddling around in their mouth, like rather than the actual snip. But he was such a good boy, and he's been absolutely fine, to be honest. They said that he might be a little bit fussy, but he's. He's honestly been fine, and um, hopefully things should get a little bit easier for him. Otherwise, it looks like I literally haven't moved because I pretty much haven't. I just ordered a coffee from Costa. But I just put it in this glass because I prefer it. I need a coffee because this little man was... He didn't sleep too bad, to be fair, but about half three, he wouldn't go back down to about half five. So. so I'm a little bit tired today, so coffee is definitely needed. But I also ordered this mozzarella thing from Costa. I'm just chilling and I'm watching... 
Billy and Greg Family Diaries. So guys, before I round off this video, I just wanted to do a little final reminder about the Skin and Me offer. I'll leave the discount code on screen here. It's just Erin Glow. You can add that at checkout. And you guys can get your daily dose up for four ninety nine and then join the wait list. For the serums, um, you guys will absolutely love the serums. Honestly, they have changed my skin game. I'll leave everything linked down below in the description. But yeah, I'll catch you guys with a brand new video very soon. Bye.